Thanks for joining us today as we take a look at mate references within SOLIDWORKS. And typically, if you're using parts over and over again, you don't want to keep having to mate them manually over and over again. That's where mate references come in. They're beautiful and probably one of the most underutilized portions of the software. What they allow us to do is drag in a part into our assembly, hover over the area where we want it to mate, and it will automatically apply the mates that we tell it to. Think of hardware. If you've used Toolbox or have seen Toolbox in use before, when you drag in that screw and hover it over a mounting hole, it automatically mates to it. Same thing. So, speaking of which, we're going to assume in this video that I don't use Toolbox. Instead, I download all my fasteners off McMaster, and I want it to mimic Toolbox as if I had it. So, I have a shoulder screw, and the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Mate dialog box. So I can hit the S key and start typing Mate Reference, and it's automatically going to jump into that search for me. Or, if I look under Reference Geometry, it's going to be right here as well. So we get three options that we can pick, primary, secondary, tertiary. In this case here, I only need to worry about one Mate entity. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I could pick this round edge right here, or this round edge. Essentially, I just want to pick an edge that is going to be concentric to that mounting hole that I'm going to hover this over. Now, if I had a prismatic part, I could go ahead and pick a second reference, a third reference. If it can't find the first reference, it's going to jump to the second. Can't find the second, it's going to jump to the third. So on and so forth. And in this case, I'm going to leave it as the default mate and any. That's all I'm going to do. Just pick this one edge here. I could give it a name if I want to, if I want to put multiple mate references in. But in my case, I'm just going to hit OK and save the part. Now, what I'm going to do is drag this into my design library. And in this case, I'll give it this file name here. I'll call it bolt. We'll click OK. It now appears in my design library. I already have a block here, and I just need to bring this shoulder screw in now. So again, picture I'm using Toolbox, I would have my Toolbox library here. Instead, I have it in my design library. From here, it's just a simple hover, and it automatically snaps to it, like you see here. Doesn't matter what the hole size is, and let's just turn off sketches real quick. Doesn't matter what the hole size is, it snaps to that edge that I picked earlier, as you can see here. Mate's fully definable, so you can always come in, view mates, the concentric, we can edit, and lock rotation if we want to. And just like that, this bolt is fully defined. Now it can't move. Hope you get some use out of this trick. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll go ahead and see you next time. Thanks for watching.